Hi friends, welcome back to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Abby and today we'll be reviewing a medication commonly used in psychiatry, lithium. We'll cover everything you need to know to walk into your NCLEX exam feeling confident in this topic. Let's get started. Lithium is a medication primarily used in psychiatric settings as a mood stabilizer. Lithium is commonly prescribed to treat bipolar disorder, but can be used to treat depression, schizoaffective disorder, and other mood disorders. Let's take a moment to break that down a bit further to understand the mechanism of action within its use for each disorder. Lithium's exact mechanism of action is not completely understood, but it is believed to affect neurotransmitters and cellular signaling pathways. When used to treat bipolar disorder, lithium aids in reducing manic episodes as well as helps to maintain a stable mood over time. When used to treat depression, lithium can help increase the effectiveness of antidepressants in treatment-resistant depression. The mood stabilization benefits that lithium provides makes it beneficial in managing schizoaffective and other mood disorders. Let's move on to look at administration and monitoring. Lithium is available in several forms, including lithium carbonate, lithium citrate, and extended release tablets. The dosages administered will vary depending on the individual client and the condition being treated. A key consideration with lithium is monitoring. It is crucial that clients have lithium levels in their blood monitor regularly as it has a very narrow therapeutic window of 0.8 to 1.2. As you can see, that is quite a narrow therapeutic window, and while the NCLEX should provide ranges for you, it is still important to know for when you're working as a real deal registered nurse. Lithium has a few common side effects and some very serious ones, so let's review both. Beginning with the common side effects, these include gastrointestinal upset, so think of your typical nausea, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Other common side effects include neurological symptoms such as tremors, sedation, and dizziness, and some clients report weight gain. On a more serious note, there can be complications such as kidney complications, thyroid dysfunction, and the most serious is lithium toxicity. I want to highlight the importance of lithium toxicity, so let's move on to the next slide where we will discuss that on its own. Lithium toxicity is considered a medical emergency, which is why we want our clients regularly monitored for it in hopes of preventing it. Lithium toxicity can be caused when a client takes an excessive dose, whether intentionally or accidentally. Since lithium has such a narrow therapeutic window, this can occur with even the slightest alteration in dosage. Other causes include dehydration, kidney dysfunction, interaction with medications such as NSAIDs, ACE inhibitors, and diuretics, and dietary changes such as a sudden change in sodium intake. When a client has lithium toxicity, they may present with severe nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, confusion, ataxia, and seizures. Treatment for lithium toxicity is dependent on the client's symptoms and their severity. Treatment can include stopping lithium intake, hydration with IV fluids, and in severe cases, dialysis may be required to remove lithium from the bloodstream. We've made it to our last slide. I know this is a long topic, so thank you for sticking with me. We're going to review a few precautions and interactions, and then we'll wrap up lithium. All right, there are some important considerations when taking lithium. First is kidney function. Lithium is excreted by the kidneys, so it's important that these clients have their kidney function monitored regularly. Another consideration is thyroid function. Remember those side effects? Lithium can affect thyroid function, so clients should have their thyroid checked regularly. Last, clients should maintain adequate hydration to prevent lithium toxicity. All right, great job reviewing lithium. Here are our references. As always, thank you so much for reviewing this topic with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all Blueprint Nursing content. And check out our other social media platforms, including TikTok, Instagram, and our Facebook page for all of your NCLEX prep needs. See you next time.